In this video, we'll be seeing how we can cache our inexpensive functions in React. So here, as you can see, I have an input and on change of the input, I am setting a text, which I have defined using useState. Let me define expensive arrow function and I'll say total is equal to zero. And let me write a for loop. And that for loop will be from i equals zero to i less than let's say a huge number right I think this is somewhere around a hundred million and I'm going to increment the value of i till it reaches that number and I will say total plus is equal to i so I am adding the value of total each time the loop is executed so this is an expensive loop and I'll return that total and I will say console log re-rendered so I want to see each time the compound is re-rendered so without calling the function if I make any change in the text you can see that as the state variable changes the component is re-rendered as many times as we change the input right so this is an expensive operation but let us say a variable called const sum and I will call that function and now this will become even more expensive we can print the value of this variable like this and now you can see that I'm typing very fast but the UI is not able to refresh that many times because the loop is running continuously so this is really expensive and we have a workaround for that in react so what we can use to do to remember the function or you can say cache that function in memory is use memo so this comes built in with react and we can use this hook to uh, optimize our components or make it more efficient make it less expensive you know we can better utilize the resources of the machine right so what I need to do is so I will wrap this function with the use memo hook so as you can see use memo arrow function currently we will leave the dependencies as empty array and I will call that function inside use memo and let me go back to the app and as you can see I am able to type really well and you can see that this function is not rendered it is only called once and then it is stored in memory and it is not called again right so if you have an expensive function that you need to call only once and it doesn't affect your business logic then you might as well use use memo because this is gonna be taking a real toll on your system resources and you need to make your functions and components more efficient now we can have a value for this function so basically this will loop through whatever number we pass through it so let's modify this code using a variable called num and let's use use state and let's have another input as well so this input we can specify what is the value of num okay so let's copy the input and paste it over here and here we have to make a modification because uh, this number will be uh, like of type number I mean integer so type number on the input and on change e set num we targeted value yep I think everything looks good so just to see that how it will affect like when we have the number and the value will be num okay uh, and I think the expensive method inside the use memo hook should also have that argument because otherwise it will throw an error okay let's see what is the issue okay so here let's have a span total I mean just uh, beside the value of where we are printing the sum and let's see okay pass the argument num for the expensive function and the dependency will also be num 
okay so we have our updated code and yeah you can see that when we increase the value here you can see that the total decreases I mean increases and if you type something here it is not rendered okay the total is not changing and the render is also not happening so this is a pretty good way to see that the, this is basically the same implementation only that we are passing an argument to our loop